video today I have a makeup tutorial slash get ready with me this lip is really what like inspired this entire tutorial I found this lipstick and I was like oh my god so I just like wanted to do a look just around this lip but I wore these curls um, a little bit ago and I snapchatted in them and like literally everyone was like oh my god what are you doing what are you doing with your hair let me see so um, I showed you guys what I did in that video as well and I just want to thank Mark Anthony for working with me for this video because I use all the hair products before they even reached out to me we're like hey want to work together I was like yeah well, I look extra pale I think it's a lip color but like I'm really digging it like give it to me yeah I'm gonna let you guys go and actually I'm not gonna let you go stay around and you know here's the video so the first thing that I'm using is the Mark Anthony dream waves beach spray and this gives you like sexy beach waves as the box says and this is just what the bottle looks like it creates texture and beach waves even on straight hair which is really good for me this really really helps it hold a curl plus I can put this in like at night and put my hair up in a bun and it'll come down and look really loose and really effortless and really really beachy this is also really fun because it can be used for like extra texture so what I'm gonna do is just put this throughout my hair and spray it in there this is also really good for creating a lot of texture when you do fun hairstyles like braids and like buns, ponytails. Because the added texture really helps the hair like stick to whatever hairstyle that you put it in. What's great about this is because it's a texturizing spray, a lot can be really drying, but this one doesn't dry out my hair at all. It actually adds a lot of moisture to it and I think it makes it look a lot shinier. And when I use heat on it like this, it also protects my hair. So I just really, really love this. So as you guys can tell, I just, you know, texturized my hair a little bit. So now it's good and it's able to hold a curl even with all the oils that I put in it to help moisturize it. I'm just going to section my hair off. And the curling iron that I'm going to be using is the Hot Tools Professional Curling Iron. And all I'm going to do with this is I'm going to take random sections and I'm just going to curl them in either direction. So some are going to go, you know, behind, some are going to go forward. It's really just a nice, loose beachy look and I'm taking sections that are big and then I'll also take sections that are small so you can just grab any and I'm just gonna curl the hair and then leave the ends out put it down and shake it out and then this one's gonna be a little bit of a smaller section curling it away from my face oh I forgot to say the size of this barrel it's the one inch no one and a quarter inch I want to say all right I'm just gonna finish curling up the rest of my hair I'm literally doing it the exact same way and I'll check in with you guys when I'm done all right so I haven't really touched my hair this is just all of it curled um so now I'm just gonna run my fingers through it just a little bit I'm not trying to brush it out because then it gets puffy and ugh. my hair just looks gross whenever I brush it out like god bless people that can do that like more power to you judge it you know Oh my god, apparently today Fetty Wap got hit by a car. Like, don't hit a one-eyed guy. Don't hit Fetty. Then I'm going to go in with the Marc Anthony Nourishing Argan Oil of Morocco. This is really great because it's non-water-based. So it dries really, really quickly and it really keeps your volume in place all day. Most hairsprays are like really, really drying, but this one's great because it has argan oil and keratin for a lot of moisture throughout the day when you're applying it. It also adds shine and it's workable hairspray, so like the first time you spray it, it's not going to hold in place. Like it's really, really flexible. It also doesn't have restyle buildup, so like throughout the day if you realize that, oh, you need to like, you know, <laughs> do something again it doesn't get like crusty there's no residue left with it like it's just really really great so I'm just spritzing this but if you notice I kind of like scrunch my hair up a little bit all that I really look for in hairspray is if it can move and it smells really good and you know since it has all these oils it's really nourishing so that's what I like in my hairspray you guys can also get Mark Anthony at Rite Aid. If you guys want to know like any more information on Mark Anthony or anything that I use in this video, be sure to check the links down in my description box. Starting off by priming my face with the Nivea Men's Aftershave Post Bomb thing, whatever. This was so funny because in my first impressions video, um, I said that I was like using this and I had like no explanation as to why. And like a lot of the comments were like, do you shave? Like why are you using Men's Aftershave? No, I don't, I don't shave. It's just a really good primer because it has glycerin in it and that makes everything stick to your face. I'm gonna go in with my favorite foundation ever. It's the Ready Set Gorgeous CoverGirl foundation. I'm in the shade 120. This is amazing. And then I'm gonna use the Real Techniques Face Experts Brush. I'm gonna use the Real Technique 
I'm gonna use the Real Techniques Face Expert Brush. Just pick this up. I'm gonna make it a little, get a little bit dewy, you know? Start putting it all over. I was at the gym and I was like, yeah, I think I wanna film this video today. And then I was like, um, I'm gonna use that lip product that I'm thinking about. And then I was like, oh, I don't have a lip liner to go with it. And then I went in to get one single lip liner and I walked out with two lip liners, a face brush, and two face masks. I don't think I'm gonna do any lower eye makeup today. I think I'm just gonna leave it all on the top. I'm gonna use Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. Put this under the eyes and I'm patting it in. It is probably one of my biggest pet peeves whenever I see people, um, rubbing their concealer and I'm like you guys literally are just rubbing your product away blend it pat it so I'm just gonna set it really fast I can find my brush this is not fast enough it's gonna crease this is Rimmel Stay Matte Translucent I finally got a new one and I'm just popping this underneath my eyes just really really quick to set my under eye concealer else like I said it will crease immediately. I'm going to go in a little bit here with the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. This is in the shade NW20. And I'm using this for highlighting and for priming my eyes. I'm going to use a crown brush to do this. So I'm just going to take a little bit, put that on my chin, down my nose, and I also have a little pimple there. I lied. I'm going to use this to blend it in. I'm going to take what's ever left over and put that on my lid and set that with a translucent powder. So I'm gonna warm up my complexion a little bit with the um, Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. And I'm using this on a blush brush and I'm just first gonna put this in my cheek region, right there. And then I'm gonna bring it up onto my temples. Oh my gosh, my sister just sent me a vine. She always sends me these like vines that like I've seen and she'll be like, oh my God, this is the funniest thing ever. And I don't want to crush her spirits. I'm just like, haha, so funny. But like literally I've already seen it a lot. So that just like low key warms up your complexion. I'm keeping my face pretty light today. So I'm just going to go in with a little bit of Well Dressed by MAC and put this on temples and blend it to the apples. Today I'm going for a little bit of the racing stripe look. I personally love that look. For highlight, I'm gonna go in with the Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Duo. You guys know I love this. And to keep it light, I'm just gonna use a fan brush with it. I haven't used this in a while, surprisingly. Why did I ever stop? Give it to me. Okay, the face is done, face is beat, face is great. We're gonna move on to eyes. So I'm first just gonna obviously fill in the brows. I have a brow routine linked down below. It's the exact same stuff I'm about to do, so I'm just gonna put that video right here. It's also linked down below, so go check it out. I'll be right back. The only thing I'm thinking about right now is Nicki Minaj telling Miley Cyrus off at the VMA. <laughs> Miley, what's good? All right, so I'm first gonna take a jumbo eyeshadow pencil. This is Impeccably Rich by MAC. Um, this is not, do I say jumbo shadow pencil? I'm in big bound shadow. Any gold base will do. The next color I'm about to use is kind of sheer and putting any other base other than gold down would give it a different color than I want it to be. So we're gonna go in with a gold here and we're just gonna make this nice and smooth because the texture of this really shows through when you put the next shadow down. So make sure to keep it nice and smooth and we're just gonna put this all over the inner two-thirds of the lid. You can leave the outer third blank or you can cover it with the gold. It just is an extra little process to cover with the gold. And then I'm going to go in with the ColourPop eyeshadow in the shade Crimper. It's just a gold. And, you know, the swatch looks really pigmented, but when you deposit it on skin, it becomes very sheer. And pack it right on top of the Big Bounce shadow that we just used. Keeping it on the inner two-thirds of the lid. Now I'm gonna take a 222 because I want this to stay nice and small in the crease. And I'm gonna go in with this crease shade right here because it's a little bit warmer and it has some pink undertones and the shadows that we're gonna be going in with have pink undertones. And with this, we're just going to very lightly keep this in the outer corner of our crease and lightly feather it into the inner corner. I'm gonna show 
you the color that we're going to use in the outer corner because it's going to help you determine what color to use in between the gold and the outer corner color. This is Melrose, also by ColourPop. It looks like this. It's like a deeper matte brown cranberry red brick color. It's really pretty. So pick any color that you have that's a few shades lighter than that. But I'm just going to take this shade right here because if you can see, it's a little bit lighter than this one right here. So all that I'm gonna do with this is place it on the outer third of the lid and flick it outwards. Okay, then I'm gonna go in with that ColourPop shade and the 217 again and just focus this on the outer crease and outer corner. Gonna add a little bit of eyeliner. This is the Stila Say All Day. I'm just gonna wing it out. I need silence for this. Gonna apply mascara. You guys know this is the tight lining mascara. I use it to tight line my eyes. And then I go in with the Maybelline Falsies and then finish it off with the Too Faced Better Than Sex. All right, this is what I went out to Ulta and bought today. It's the Lip Liner in Nude Beige. I'm just gonna line my lips with this. I'm not gonna overdraw or anything. I'm just gonna keep it natural looking. And then for the lipstick, I like certainly 100% did not buy this. I don't know where it came from, but I know that I did not buy this. Um, it's Lord and Berry natural intensity that and lipstick how fall oh my god i'm so obsessed it's so like grandma like yes give it to me that lip like really washes you out so i kind of feel like i need lower lash now no i can't that's Yes, it looks weird without it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and also let me know in the comments what videos you want to see next. Be sure to subscribe and I'll talk to you guys all in my next one. See ya!